Good morning, my dear friends. Crypto has uh, continued to go up. Uh, Bitcoin to eight thousand US dollars. Bitcoin Cash to four hundred US dollars, and Ethereum to two hundred US dollars. Um, it's been very, very uh, difficult for me. Uh, I had lots of emotions, afraid to miss out. I sold a big stash of Bitcoin Cash uh around 300 and it should through to 400 and uh, uh i reduced my exposure from 80 percent to 40 percent crypto there so i mean if the bull market has started i just did a terrible move and uh, and and i've done this before uh, i i remember in, in in when i was starting with my investment career uh, in 20, 2006 and 2007, I was uh, investing in silver before the bank crisis and uh, silver went from $15 to $20. I thought I was a genius, but then during the bank crisis, the credit crisis in 2008, it dropped to $10. I bought a very big stash of silver, but then at $10, but then I, I, I basically sold it off for a 10% a profit or 5% profit, like no profit, eh? uh, weeks later. Uh, so, so that was a very bad move because then it went up to forty dollars the years after. Uh, so, so uh, from two thousand eight to two thousand eleven. So, 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 so you can chicken out uh, of a trade. Uh, you you do a, a great buy during a bear market and then you end up selling it for almost a little profit and 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 and, 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 and that's certainly a risk here for me. Uh, but. Um, uh, I, I am and so I go between a lot of emotions like angry with myself that I didn't see the bottom when it happened around 3000 or around uh, 80 or so, uh, dollars for, for Bitcoin cash and being in denial since then um, and, 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 and maybe being one of those uh, yeah um, people that is in denial about the new, new bull market uh, and being on the wrong side uh, I thought I was on the right side uh, but being on the wrong side and being one of those suckers uh, being left behind uh, um, it's certainly possible and uh, i'm sorry if i um, if i um, have let you uh, also there but uh, i think that, that the biggest mistake actually that i've done so many times is is is, is give uh, starting to follow other people's opinions um and, and do things different than i initially intended because other people have different opinions and I start to follow them and then later of course they disappoint you sooner or later and you become angry with them uh, it's not a good strategy it's much better strategy to to build a system for yourself and follow that uh, and a system that's been um, that, 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 that will lead you to buy low and sell high uh, something that you set up yourself and, and that you improve over time uh, because you really need a strong um, yeah and so for me for example today that means that within my system i'm making some adjustments uh so so my system uh, you've seen is that i'm only willing to buy when we see 35 percent undervaluation below the trend line only then i'm willing to go to a majority exposure i missed that chance or i did it but then i sold it off again so but i still want to stick to the system but the nice thing about the system is it's it's well thought out, of course, and it goes with the price. It goes up with the price. 35% eh? undervaluation is compared to the trend line. And if we do indeed have started the bull market, well, even during a bear market, the trend line goes up. But during a bull market, it will go up even faster. And so, I mean, I'm only screwed if we don't reach that undervaluation again. But if we do reach that undervaluation again of minus 35%, I plan to go to a majority exposure again. And that is at ever increasing prices. Eh? These prices continue to go up. And so I keep on raising my buy orders. Eh? But they, they stay far from current market price. So we do need a strong correction for them to be hit. Um, uh, but that's my system and I don't and, and the nice thing about having the system is when my emotions take uh, the best of me and I try to like change it eh? like no 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 let's uh, let's just put the buy orders much closer to market price or in the past let's just uh, let's just do a market order here eh? and and 
uh, like these things I can't do because it, it's not possible in my system. Uh, I, I can only buy at 35% undervaluation. Currently, the crypto market is at uh, at uh, at um, at only 10% undervaluation. So, uh, but I can like change some things like um, before I had my buy order set, my first buy order at minus 50% undervaluation and that I've changed now to minus 35%. But I can't go uh, less because, well, my system is that uh, I want to buy at a uh, uh, margin of safety uh, of um, uh, uh, the previous uh, bear market and we went to minus 70% undervaluation compared to the trend line. So um, uh, half of that is minus 35%, and, and that's my margin of safety. Only then I consider it to be serious undervaluation, and before that, not. So today, there is no serious undervaluation. There is only undervaluation. Okay, uh, it's minus 10% undervaluation. It's not much, but it's something. And if you don't have the exposure uh, yet that you think is needed, then yes, uh, uh, you always have to take care of that first. Uh, like minus 10% undervaluation in a market that goes up quite quickly and may go to, mm, the ne in the next bubble, to how much undervaluation, uh, overvaluation, while well, the last bubble was 700%, so take 50% of that, like it may go to 300 uh, 50% overvaluation compared to the trend line. Uh, uh, the currently trend line is 260 billion times four, uh, so one trillion is um, is uh, the upward potential here where you can uh, sell. Huh? Uh, so, so so for the total market, I'm talking here. So that's um, from here, we're at 230 billion, that's still times four. Hmm? So, so that's still, uh, and if you don't have enough crypto exposure, yeah, you may consider to buy at current prices. Uh, but that means you didn't do your job well and you'd never followed my uh, advice to go to a big minority exposure that's been my advice uh, during this whole bear market and sometimes i switch it to a majority exposure that i came back later on but a big minority exposure of and i'm doing my total portfolio so that meant 40 percent uh, and so i i have that invested and so the amount of crypto i did increase many folds that i own compared to the previous bull market so, so so i will be okay but of course it is disappointing also for me if i don't get a chance to buy back like i really want to go to at least the majority exposure and i really had the aim to go all in or 90 percent like in the previous bear market i succeed in investing 80 percent of my portfolio and now only 40 percent so that's of course a disappointment but um but but that doesn't mean i can break my the rules of my system huh? because there are other advantages like the the the, the, the um, my system will lead to okay i can't buy uh if the price runs away from me um uh, but that just means that i i do have yeah, fiat left that i do have to invest in something else and so i will open my eyes to other opportunities i have to and that's a good thing uh, who knows what will come of that it may even save my portfolio because I was planning to go almost all in uh, in Bitcoin Cash. I can't now, but that might have been like in, uh, also a bad decision. Um, now I'm going to be forced to invest in other things and, and, and that may lead to much better things. Um, looking for, uh, from it, from, from another perspective. Mm. Uh, but also like it may actually also lead me to invest in in, 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 in in crypto just at another moment in time. Huh? Because let's say the bull market starts, we go into overvaluation. From here, I won't end up buying anything, but that may change in half a year or a year. We may go again in undervaluation and serious undervaluation at much higher fiat prices, yes, but it suddenly becomes a buy signal for me again. And I will look at the market from a different perspective and maybe I will invest in other coins. Maybe by that time my, my, my perspective will have changed on the market and 
I'm not so bullish anymore on Bitcoin Cash, but I became more bullish on other coins and, and, and maybe it will lead me to uh, invest in other coins too. Whereas today, if I would have like done things well, I would have invested much bigger in Bitcoin Cash and maybe I would have too much of a, 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 a um, how do you say that, a close perspective on other coins because I'm so heavily invested. Whereas now I, 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 I do have to look for other opportunities. So, 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 so that's important to look at, especially today uh, when, 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 when FOMO is, the FOMO is real, like for me, uh, fear of missing out. Yeah. A lot of strong emotions, uh, not sleeping very little, working very hard, uh, studying the markets. Uh, so, 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 but um, that's one thing. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing I want to share um, in the heat. Uh, I, on my Twitter, I share uh, many things. I, I do get the feeling that really bulls, uh, sorry, bears, like either they have to change their mind and become a bull or they have to stop talking because uh, 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 that's, that's, that's like, what can you say if you, if you have been a bear? You've been very wrong. Huh? And, 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 and there comes a moment that you don't speak anymore. Huh? And actually that's very typical. That's always at the end of a cycle like that. Huh? It's the same for bulls that have been wrong too much. They stop talking, they stop tweeting, they stop making YouTube videos. Um, that's that's usually the response, huh? but actually, that's actually the time where they actually are very very close to becoming right. Um, and, and I really have that feeling. Um, but there are so many other indicators that 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 that, that this is um, uh, very likely going to correct. Uh, just looking at the social media, uh, the bulls are extremely became very cocky and and, and of themselves and certain of themselves that. Uh, that uh, they did everything right and, and and setting targets double as high as current prices. Like now we're all uh, they are looking at 10k and and uh, and higher and all season is going to start even though that goes against uh, uh, like it's not it's not technically like it's very unlikely all season starts here. But then okay they all I, I did the voting like what do you think will happen and most think Bitcoin will continue this rally to much higher prices. Um, um, and a, a, a big amount of people think all season will start here. Very few people think there will become a correction here where uh, Bitcoin dominance will continue to increase because that's the most likely here that Bitcoin dominance will continue to increase over the next few months. Um, and so in what scenario can that happen? Uh, there are only two scenarios really possible as Bitcoin continues this rally or uh, we get a crash uh, of the whole market. Uh, and so Odds are actually very high here. We get a serious correction, even if the bull market started. But most people look at the voting results. I just did for my followers. Most people think that's not going to happen. Huh? So, so, so finally, uh, I'm in a minority position here, which is always very, very good. After market has moved a lot, you want to be on the side of the minority. And, and, and I do think uh, we're there here uh, for the bears. And, and that's, uh, that means that uh, market may certainly move in that direction but at the same time uh, uh, we got some really strong signals here that uh, yeah the bottom is likely passed and um and for bitcoin cash like i really gave up hope for a new bottom there that's like finished <laughs> that hope is gone i did some more studying uh, towards the volume and i can't believe i overlooked that but i was just looking at the volume on on, on, on kraken or bitstamp one of them uh, during uh, the bottom of $75 and actually there was massive volume there on the low, not on the rebound uh, when it went to $200. No, 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 on around $75, $80, there was massive volume, much, much higher than before. I always thought that the volume was very low there, but I verified with my own eyes, is that really true? And it was not even true. Like, oh, that's a real problem. Eh? Like, I didn't know that. Uh, and so that just like confirms to me like, oh, this is like a lost cause, Bitcoin Cash, even if we make a new low, for which I personally do things, the odds are there, it will not be for Bitcoin Cash. Eh? Even if Bitcoin goes to 2,500, which I think still is possible, though I have to admit it's less likely, but it's still possible. Um, uh, I don't think Bitcoin Cash will make a new low there. So, 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 yeah. Um, I did end up raising 
my buy offers. I do hope they get filled. Uh, but even if they get filled, I have um, accepted that I will likely not be able to invest um, a big pile of my fiat into crypto. And um, uh, if the bull market has started, then maybe this will be my last uh, buy-in. Um, yeah, but okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, good luck.